हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ योर क्लास एट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर फाइव सेट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डू बेसिक्स रिलेटेड विद द टर्म सेट एंड डिफरेंट कैटेगरी एंड ऑपरेशन यूज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सेट ओके नाउ स्टार्टिंग विद योर टर्म सेट व्हाट इज अ सेट a collection of well defined object or element is called set collection of well defined set in mathematics are n that is set of all natural number that is all the counting number 1 2 3 up to so on and uh, w set of whole number that is number beginning from 0 1 2 3 up to so on then we have z set of all the integer all positive and negative number including zero q set of all rational numbers they are also known as your set and z set of all real number and uh, then z positive that is set of all positive integer similarly z negative that set of all negative integer so in this way we have variety of set in mathematics we will talk about the about the term set in detail first we talk about a universal set what is a universal set a set which contain all the set relevant to a certain condition is called the universal set it is a set of all possible value basically universal set is set of all possible value for example if we talk about your uh set a which is set of even number so it will be 2 4 6 8 then set b which is set of odd number 1 3 5 7 9 then what will be the universal set universal set is a set that contain both these two set and it is a set of all the natural number so what is a universal set for these two set it is a universal set of all the natural number because it begin from your 1 2 3 up to so on infinity it can include both the set a and b that is known as your universal set okay then another category we are having overlapping and joint set two sets are said to be joint or overlapping if they have at least one element in common if they have at least one element in common they are known as your uh joint or overlapping set if we look at the set a it is having element 1 2 3 4 no oh, sorry 1 2 4 5 7 and here we are having 3 5 6 7 uh here 5 from the very first and 7 5 and 7 from the set a and again 5 and 7 from the set b two elements are common uh, common in the particular uh, set a and b so we can say that they are overlapping set at least one element must be present in each of the uh, two set as a common element so we can say that the two sets are uh, you are overlapping or disjoint set then next we have disjoint set the condition where we call two set as a disjoint set when they do not have any element in common okay for example we have a set of all even number and set b set of all odd, odd number so set a and b are two set where we are having element with even number and uh, in b we are have element with odd number if you draw these two set or if you make these two set you will look at we do not have any element common between these two set we do not have any element common between two these two set a set a is 2 4 6 and set b is your uh, 3 1 3 and 5 okay it is set of odd number and this is set of even number so nothing is common between these two sets so we can say that they are disjoint set similarly 
P and Q are two set here. P is having element two, three, five, and Q is having element uh, eight, nine, ten. These P and Q are disjoint set because nothing is common between these two set, or no element is common between these two set. So these are disjoint set. Then most important part that is complement of a set. Complement that means if U is a universal set and A B any set. This set A is a set. Then complement of set A is set of all the element of U which do not belongs to A, which do not belongs to A. All the element of U which do not belongs to A. So we'll write it as A dash. A dash is a complement of a set. A dash is equal to X such that X belongs to U and X does not belongs to A. X जो है U को belong करना चाहिए लेकिन कोई भी element of A जो है वो U में नहीं होना चाहिए So in that case that we can say that A is A dash is a complement of your set A. So here is an example if we have universal set 1 2 3 4 5 6 and set A is 2 1 2 3. So what is A complement? A complement will be those element of U which are not in A or which do not belongs to A. So 1 2 3 belongs to A. So we'll remove them and rest set will be 4, 5, 6, which is complement of A. Okay, so A complement, A dash, or we can write it as A complement, A, C. Okay, A power C, like this. We write it as A complement. So this can be written as U minus A. U minus A will talk about this term also u minus a that means set of all the element of u but do not belongs to a here then next hai, aapka union of two sets union of two sets that means it is denoted by your term u it means or either in one set or in another set that is known as your union set of all the elements which are either in a or either in B. Okay. So set of all the element which are in A or in B that is known as your union of two sets. So look at here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 set A and set B is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Then what will be the union? All the elements common in A and B plus rest of the element. Okay. Then 1, 2, 3, we are having 4, 5, 6 as it is. Then 3 and 5 is again here. 3 is here in A and 5 is here that we have already written. So we are not going to repeat it again. So rest of the element apart from your B, that will be 7, 9, 11. So what will be the set A union B? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 7, 9, 11. Okay, so this is known as your union of two set. Then term is intersection of two set. Intersection that means and. Intersection means and that means element must be present in set A and B. Okay, so set A we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and set B 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, Look at the term here, 3 is present here, 3 is also present here, 5 is present here, 5 also present here. So, two elements are common, 3 and 5. Then what will be the intersection? Intersection of these two sets, that means which elements are common between A and B, that is 3 and 5. This is known as intersection of two sets. Now, look at one more example here that we are doing from the beginning that if we are having set A, that is set of all odd numbers and B set of all even number, then what is common between these two terms? Nothing is common. So what is the intersection? Intersection is 5. 
phi is a empty set we denote it like this phi is a empty set so nothing is nothing is uh, not, uh, nothing common term is between a and b no common term is between a and b so we can say that it is an empty set then difference of two set that we have discussed in your uh, complement of set u minus a so if a and b are two sets then a minus b that means difference between two set is a set of all the element of a which are not in b set of all the element of a which are not in b so we'll represent it as a minus b is equal to x such that x belongs to a and x do not belongs to b we include the element of a but remove those element which are in b so similarly b minus a that means we include the element of b but we remove the element of a here so uh, here we are having example a is equal to 13579 and b is equal to 369 so we have to write a minus b a minus b first find out a common term between these two set here we are having 3 3 then 9 and 9 now set of all the element of a which are which do not belongs to b here so we have removed the element that belongs to b so so rest of the elements are 1 5 and 7 so a minus b is 1 5 7 on the other hand if we talk about b minus a what will be b minus a we have again removed the element which are common in b and a but now this time we will write the only those element which are present in b but not in a so b minus a will be equal to 6 here so in this way we can write the difference of two set here understand then come to your exercise so which of the following collection of object are set so come to the definition of the set that we have done that well defined objects are known as your set well defined that means there should be a specific condition regarding your uh, elements here like all the good cricketer cricket player of delhi now if you consider the term good which is a qualitative term qualitative term that means we can now, there is no uh, single criteria for the goodness of cricketer uh, good or bad term for any cricket okay some player are good some player are excellent so no single criteria for your cricket player is here so this is not a well defined set so this is not a set first part this is not a set all the consonants in alpha english alphabet so we have 26 element which is well defined a b c d and uh, consonants part is there apart from your uh, uh, a e i o u term we have rest of the elements as consonants apart from your vowels we have con consonant term here which is well defined in your english alphabet and then these this is a set so it is well defined set here then all the natural number less than 125 as we have already discussed in the beginning definition that well defined set in mathematics is set of all the natural number set of all the whole number and set of all the rational irrational real number positive integers these all are the set so all the natural number less than 125 is a well defined set then all the student of your class whose eyes height is between 135 cm and 155 cm so we have a specific criteria of your measurement which is between 135 cm and 155 cm so this is a well defined set if this question is of type all the student of your class that are good or that are honest so there is not single criteria for nst or goodness 
we cannot specify that a person is good for one and bad for another person so there is not no specific criteria so we cannot judge this term which is qualitative term okay in set we do not consider the qualitative term so we cannot we can say that this is not a set if we talk about the honesty or goodness of any particular individual then all the popular cinema actors in mumbai this is also a qualitative term and not a quantitative term popular cinema actors a favorite actor for a single person might be a bad person for other some person like villains and some person like heroes so there is not a single criteria for this judgment okay so this is not a well defined set so this from this definition we can say that um, for set the element of that particular should be well defined then now come to the example part here oh sorry question part question number 2 it is given that universal set is x such that x belongs to z and a condition is given minus 3 less than equal to x less than equal to 3 so since x belong to integer so we must include positive and negative number including zero here then a is equal to x such that x belongs to whole number x less than equal to 3 then b is equal to x such that x belongs to natural number and 1 less than x less than equal to 3 so we have to find the a complement and b complement first we will explore the element of this set from this form here okay now universal set is x is less than equal, oh, x should be greater than equal to minus 3 and less than equal to 3 so elements are minus 3 minus 2 1 0 1 2 3 here then come to the set a part write down its element since x belongs to whole number and whole number begin from 0 so its first element will be 0 then x is less than equal to 3 so condition is that we must proceed from 0 and write the number till 3 equal to 3 here then for set b here x belongs to natural number now natural number begins from 1 natural number begins from 1 but we have a condition we have a condition that x should be greater than 1 so the first natural number which is greater than 1 is 2 so we'll write 2 here then next natural number is 3 and since we are having equal to sign so term is your 2 and 3 so two element will be there 2 and 3 now uh, we have to find the a complement and uh, what is a formula for your a complement a complement is a complement set of all the elements of u set of all the element of u that do not belongs to your set a okay that do not belongs to your set a so apart from the element a that is common in your uh, u we have to write down the rest of the element now look at here this is a and this is u check out the common element common element is 0 1 2 3 so we will remove this element 0 1 2 3 3. that is we have subtract this term then rest of the element will be minus 3 minus 2 and minus 1 this is a complement of your set similarly b complement will be your b complement will be b complement that will be equal to u minus b u minus b so set of all the elements of u that do not include elements of b so we are having 2 and 3 so in this case what we are going to do we'll remove only 2 3 here from u we will only remove 2 3 here so rest of the element will be minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 and 1 so this is a solution set for your b complement here
Okay. Then come to the question number three. It is given that A is equal to A B C D and set B is equal to A B E. So first we have to find the union of two set. Union of two set that means A union B. In union we consider the term as or. So I. All the elements which are either in A or in B. So first we'll write all the element of A, which is A, B, C, D. Then we'll not repeat the element that come in B. So A is repeating itself. So which we have already written. So we will not write it again. So similarly, B is again repeating. So we'll not repeat it again. Then last element of B is E. So it is not repeating itself. So we'll write as A B C D E as union of two set. Then intersection of two set A intersection B. Now A intersection B is this is A this is B common element between A and B. So common element between A and B is A and small b. Any other element? There is no other element. No, no other element is there. So, what is A intersection B? It is A and B here. Then, third part is A minus B. So, what is will be A minus B? A minus will be set of all the elements of A. Set of all the element of A which are not in B. Which are not in B. So condition is that set of all the element of A which are not in B. Now look at here. Write down the common element. So A is common, B is common. Now we have to write the element of A only. We have to write the element of A only, which are C and D. C and D is the solution. Similarly, B minus A. Check out the common term. Cancel it. Now. Since we have to find out B minus A, in this case we will write the element of B that do not belongs to A. So B will be B minus A will be equal to E here. Okay. So in this way we can find union of intersection subtraction of two set here. Then another important question: We have given a letter X. Such that X is a letter in word Maharashtra and B such that Y is a letter Y such that Y is a letter in the word Madhya Pradesh. List the element of A and B. So look at here in Maharashtra, we have so many uh, alphabets are there that are repeating itself. M A H A. So this A is repeating itself so many times here. When we write the elements of any set, we re reject the uh, uh, term that are repeating itself. We will write the term only once. So A itself repeating uh, four times here, but we will write only once here. So element of A will be M A H R S T. So all those element that are not repeating itself, that will be M A H R S T. Similarly, element of B, element of B, similar Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is there. So what we are going to do? We will write all those element that are not repeating itself, including rest of the element. Okay. So M here A D H Y P R E S. So here we are having set of all the element of B here. Okay, write all the elements, but do not repeat the alphabet if it is repeating itself two three times. In this case, we are having A is repeating again. Here we have A. And again, here we have A three time, but we will write A only once. Okay, we will write A only once. Similarly, we are having D. D is repeating itself twice, but we will write only once. So, set of all the elements of B in this way, we can write it. 
then union of a and b a and b union that means we will write all the elements combination of the elements but we will not repeat the elements again in a similar format we will not repeat the uh, element here so m is there m also is there so we'll write only once a is there a is there so we'll write only once similarly d itself is there but here we are not having but we will write this term also okay in union we include common term plus rest of the term also common term we will write once and rest of the term as it is we will write in union of two sets so we are repeating the element in a this way then intersection for intersection we will write only common term so from element of a and element of b look at the common term here m is common m is common here then a is common again a is common h is common h is common here again r is common r is common then s is common and last we have s is common so these elements which are common in a and b that will be the intersection so it will be m a h r s these are the common elements between a and b then we will have a minus b what will be a minus b will reject the common element and last we will have element of a set of all the elements of a that do not belongs to b but m a h r s t belongs to b so we will reject them and only one element which is independent here that is t element here okay then next question next question is there uh, we have given let a is equal to factor of a and b is equal to factor of it sorry factor of 18 and b is equal to factor of 13 find the value of your a union b a intersection b a minus b and b minus b. first we have to write the factors of 18 and we will write the all elements of set a here so since a is factor of 18 so factor of 18s are 18 multiplied by 1 so 1 and 18 will be there then 9 to the 18 2 and 9 will be there then 3 6 the 18 so 3 and 6 will be there okay so all the elements or all the uh, factors of 18 are 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 then factors of 13 for factor of 13 first 1 multiplied by 30 31s are 30 so 1 and 30 will be there then 15 to 2 the 30 2 and 15 will be there then 10 3s are 30 3 and 10 will be there last we are having 5 6 the 30 so 5 and 6 will be there so these are the set of elements of b and these are the uh, set of all the elements of a here okay now we have to find a union b a union b i have already told you so many time that we have to include all the elements which are either present in a or present in b okay if terms are repeating itself just write the term only once and write down the rest of the element as it is in a union b so here we are having 1 2 3 5 6 9 10 15 18 19 20 and 13 30 that is a union b now second part is a intersection b for a intersection b we have to find out the common term so 1 1 is common here then 2 itself is common here then 3 is common here then 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 we have we have 6 is common 6 is common after that what we have we have nothing these terms are common 
between A and B. So what is intersection? Intersection will be 1, 2, 3 and 6. Then A minus B. A minus B, that means set of all the element of A. We have to write the element of A that do not belongs to B. That do not belongs to B. That means humne, we have to find common element between A and B. We have to find common element. Then remove those element which are common in A and B from A. Then the remaining element which are left behind they are A minus B, set of elements of A minus B, which is 9 and 18. Similarly, when we have to find B minus A, that means set of all the element of B, which are not in A. So in this case, what we are going to do again, find out the common element between A and B, then remove the common element, remove the common element, and what will be the rest of the element? 5, 10, 15, and 30. So 5, 10, 15, and 30 will be the solution of this particular. Okay. 5, 5, 10, 15, and 15, and 30. This is B minus A. Okay. This is B minus A. So solution set for B minus A is 5, 10, 15 and 30. Then next question, again we are having A is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, B is equal to 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, C is equal to X such that X belongs to N and X should be greater than 3 and less than 9. X belongs to N, natural number begin from 1 but condition is there that it x should be greater than 3. So number will be 4. Begin from your 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's it. We are not going to include 9 because it is less than 9. It is not equal to 9, less than equal to 9. Condition is that it is less than 9. So element of A we have written, element of B we have written, element of C that is 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. These elements we have chosen from this particular condition. Then, again, come to the part that we have to find out A minus B. A minus B, that means we'll find common element between A and B and write the rest of the element which do not belong to B. So, 4 is common. We will remove it. 6 is common. We'll remove it. Nothing is common now in between A and B. So rest of the element of A are three and five. So this is a solution set for three A minus B. Then B minus C. Come to the term B minus C. Now find out common term between B and C. Four is common, six is common, and eight is common. All the element of B which are not present in C. So rest of the pending element that belongs to B are not in C are 10, 12 and 14. This is a solution set for B minus C. Next. Third part. A minus B intersection C. For this first we have to find the B intersection C. For this we have to find the B intersection C. Now. For intersection, we have to find the common element. So common element between B and C are 4, 6 and 8. 4, 6 and 8 between B and C. So what will be the intersection of B and C? Intersection of B and C is 4, 6 and 8. Now a minus B intersection C. We have to find the A minus B intersection. We have the term B intersection C and we have A. A we are having as 3, 4 and 4, 5 and 6. 5 and 6. This is A we are having. This is A we are having. So we have to find A minus B intersection C. So we'll compare these two set and we'll subtract. 
In fact, we'll subtract these two set. Check out here which term is common. Four is common. Four is common. Six is common. Six is common. So remove these term that are common. And at last, we have all the elements of A that do not belong to B intersection C. That is three and five. Three and fives are pending. Okay. Similarly, B minus A union C. Now we have to find B minus A union C. B minus A union C. Now for this, what we are going to do, we have to find the union of first union of what A and C. We have to find the union of A and C here. So union of a and c look at the term this is a and this is c so what will be the union of a and c all the element of a and c and the term that are repeating itself we will write only once here so three four five six as it is then four is common and we have write it will not repeat it five we have write it will not repeat it six we have already written will not repeat it then pending element are 7 and 8. So we'll write 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is A union C. Then same format we have to find B minus A union C. B minus A union C. That means B is 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and A union C is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now find out the common term between these two terms. So 4 and 6 is common, 4, 6 common here, 4, 6 common term and uh, we are having 8 also, 8 also. Now write down all the element of V which are not present in A union C. So rest of the element are 10, 12 and 14. So this is a solution set for your B minus A union C here. Then, Come to the next question. Next question we have given A as 1, 2, 3, 4, B, X such that X belongs to whole number, whole number begin from 0, but condition is there that X should be less than 4 and, great, uh, sorry, X should be greater than 4 and it should be less than 9. So the element of B will be 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then for C, X belongs to natural number and x should be less than 8. So condition is that x belongs to natural number. Natural number begins from 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Less than equal to sign is there. So we'll include 8 also. So we have written all the elements of A, B and C. Now we will proceed with the condition which is given here. A union B union C. We have to find the A union B union C. Now for A union B union C, first we will find A union B. Okay. We will find A union B. Write the element of A and B as in common. So what will be the A union B? So A union B that will be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And again, union C. So we will compare now A union B, this set and this C set here. We'll compare these two elements. The elements that are repeating itself, we will not write it again. If you look at the element, all the elements are repeating itself in the set C. And it is same as that of set A union B. So what will be the union? Union will be same here. Okay. Then second condition. Second condition we have to calculate A intersection B union C. First we will find common element between A and B. Since nothing is common between A and B. So it is an empty set. So A intersection B will be a empty set. Then we have to find the union between A intersection B and C here. Now union is there. So how we are going to write it? We will 
union of empty set plus c set union is there union of empty set and c set it will be c set itself so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 as your dependence okay then a union b intersection c so first we will find the a union b and after that we will find the intersection we have to proceed according to the given condition first we will solve the bracket term after that we will solve the rest of them so what is a union b a union b that we have already calculated that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay and what is c c itself is 1 2 3 5 4 5 6 7 8 so all the elements are common here all the elements are common between a union b and c so what will be the intersection intersection will be all the elements that are common all the elements that are common so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay then condition is that fourth part is a intersection b union c is equal to a union b intersection c is this condition is true now the condition that we have calculated in fourth part fourth part oh sorry in second part and in third part compare these two term we have same set here so yes it is equal here yes it is equal here then come to the last question last question we have uh, let set a is equal to 0 1 2 3 and set b is equal to 3 4 6 and set c is equal to 0 1 3 we have to find this condition we have to find this condition whether this term is equal to this term okay to solve this particular first condition what we have to do we have to take left hand side this is the left hand side and we'll prove that it is equal to right hand side okay We'll begin with the left hand side and we'll prove that it is equal to right hand side again telling you first solve the bracket term here so first we find b union c so b union c that will be equal to here we are having set so what will be b union c b union c will be equal to 0 1 3 uh, sorry we must have two here b no we have to find the value of b and c b union c so it will be 0 1 3 4 and 6 so it will be b union c here then a union b union c we have to find a union b union c so what is a a is 0 1 2 3 and uh, b union c itself is 0 1 3 4 6 so write down the term that are repeating or that are common only once. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 will be the solution set for this particular condition. So left hand side we have this solution set. Okay, now come to the right hand side. Now this time we have to find the value of A union B. For this we have the value of A union B. Now Look at here, what is A union B? A union B, that means we are again comparing these two terms, A union B. So element will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 3 again repeating here. So we will not write it. Then rest of the element of B that are 4 and 6. So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. So this is your A union B. Then we have to find the value of union C, A union B, union C. Then we'll compare this set and C set here. We'll compare this set and this particular C set here. And we find the union here. So U, 0, 0 repeating itself. So we'll write it only once. 1 and 1 repeating itself. So we'll write only once. 3. 3 repeating itself, so only one right once. Then rest of the element from this particular set. So comparing these two terms, left hand side answer and right hand side answer, comparing these two terms, you can say that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now, uh, second part, again, 
we have given intersection of two set intersection of two set and whole condition is for the for, to prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side so this is our left hand side and this is our right hand side so we'll prove this for the condition here now look at the term here a intersection b intersection c first find b intersection c so b intersection c what is common between b and c here 3 is common 3 is common between b and c here okay 3 uh, is common between b and c so we will write b intersection c as 3 only then we have to find a intersection b intersection c for this we will compare this b intersection c set and set a here set a what is common between these two term common element is only three so what is solution for this a intersection b intersection c that is equal to three okay now come to the right hand side right hand side we have a intersection b intersection c so first we will find the a intersection b so find out the common term between these two term common term is three only so what is a intersection b a intersection b is equal to Three. Now, second part. Uh, sorry. Uh, then we have to find a intersection B intersection C. We have calculated the value of a intersection B, which is three here. Then intersection C. Intersection C. That means we will compare this set and C here. So what is between C and a intersection B? Only three is common between this. So solution is three. Now comparing left hand side and right hand side after comparing left hand side and right hand side we have the same value as 3 so this condition is also true so that's it from your uh, chapter set here uh, important chapter uh, this is an important chapter and uh, just basic conditions are given here understand the term from the basics that we have told that is union of set intersection of set and subtraction of two set then you will be able to understand the whole question okay that's it from this part of the video uh, soon i'll send you one more video related with the uh, next chapter uh, thank you so much keep watching keep learning